Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Chuckles here, coming at you with another review. Today we have the CZ805 Brands by ASG. Now, it comes in four different configurations. Here in my hands, you will see this is the A2 version, so it has a shorter barrel. This is the A1 version down here, where it has a much longer barrel. Also, it'll come in either this gray upper or this tan upper, so you get a choice of that. So, right now we're taking a look at the A2. So some features on the brand. Standard HU flash hider, so if you have something that'll go over that, like a um, QD, that's cool, it'll work. It's 14 millimeter counterclockwise, so you'll be able to put whatever you want on it. It also has this little lug right here, so you can tighten it up against whatever suppressor you have. So even if it's a little bit loose, it'll tighten up, won't move at all, really nice. Um, it has front and rear sling points on both sides of the gun which is super nice whether you want to do just a standard one point, if you want to do a two point, or if you're a lefty and you kind of want to have that option, you have that option. Their flip up front and rear sights, the front sight is adjustable for elevation, the rear sight's adjustable for windage. They just pop up when you push the button and when you push them down they actually stay down you don't need to hold them, which is nice when you have to, you know, kind of get into it quick. So then, more on the body, it's a one-piece aluminum upper, which is really nice, super solid, kind of like a scar. Um, nylon fiber lower, which is still super solid, and a five-position side folding uh, stock, which is really nice, um, good for getting in. Again, this is a CQB kind of base gun, so you kind of are afforded that up. Also, it has a tri-rail up front, so you can put on any kind of thing you want, like grenade launchers, uh, red dot lasers or anything. And then you have one monolithic upper top rail for any kind of optics you want. So if you were outdoors, you had the longer one, you wanted an ACOG or uh, short top, you could afford that option. Also, comes with an M4 maglo. It's a little bit loose for most magazine fitment, but it's not too big of a deal. It's still gonna fit and feed. This is the US version, so if you buy the regular um, version is going to have one specifically made for the brand magazines. So that covers most of the basic features that the ASG brand kind of affords you. What we're going to go to next is we're going to show you how to utilize the battery compartment plus how to utilize the quick change spring that this thing has. So stay tuned. Super unique, but it uses M4 mags, which is pretty nice. And then, um, kind of like that scar. Yeah. yeah, if you want a scar, but you don't want to look like everybody else. So now that we've talked about the quick change spray and the battery compartment, let's head over to the shooting booth for a chrono test and we're testing the rate of fire as well. Get some shots in behind this thing, see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are in the shooting booth. Just wanted to show you a neat little thing. They have a directional arrow and some uh, marks out there, kind of pointing in that direction. What you do is you pull, and that's how you uh, access the chamber so you can fill the magazine. So it's really nice so we'll, when you're pulling out of your kit, it won't stay open or forget that it's open, you know, so it's really nice. Here we are, semi-automatic. We have an 11 one light bulb. Really nice trigger response. And then we're going to have fully automatic. <laughs> that was awesome. So as you guys saw from the chrono test, you're getting about 360 to 370 feet per second with a 0.25 gram BB, which isn't perfect right here. But you have the quick change spring, so then that's not an issue. You'll be done within under two minutes. Um, and that's standard between uh, the A1 and the A2. It's the same FPS. You saw on an 11 one LiPo, we got about 20 rounds a second which is really nice. If you ever need to go full auto, you have that option afforded to you. Um, the only issue that I have with it is that the magazine well is a little bit wobbly, but it doesn't affect performance. Just about any magazine will fit and feed perfectly fine. You won't run into any issues. 
even if you do run into any issues with this gun, it has a one year warranty through ASG, which is superb. You're definitely getting for that, you know, in the price tag. Overall, what you're looking at is an incredibly unique gun. You have M4 mags, so it's super compatible even if, you know, you're on a team and everyone else runs M4 mags. You have that option that you can still run M4 mags, which is really nice. And it has a look of a scar, but it isn't a scar. And it has either that tan upper or this really nice uh, gray upper. And it's metal, super solid, really nice lightweight. Um, definitely going to get you the performance that you need. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave them down in the comments. We're definitely open to any suggestions you guys may or may not have. Answer any questions that you guys may have. This has been Chuckles with Extreme Airsoft, and we'll see you guys next time.